Here's a closer look at my Sears Super 12 requested by a lot of YouTubers. Mostly to take a look on how the linear actuator works and is on there. So it's for the use of the, for use of for those of you that don't know, it's a Sears Super 12, 12 horse compressor, three speed high and low with reverse, obviously. Um, other than that, it's just basic garden tractor. Not a big fan of compressors, but it starts up all the time, no choke, even in the coldest weather. It's never failed me yet, um, except for a bad spark plug. But I replaced that, and nothing's gone wrong yet. Um, so let's take a look at the linear actuator. It's basically a starter that can go forward and reverse, lifting this rod that goes that pushes this up and down. That I have my chain connected to my plow, and uh, this is just bolted on right now to the grill. As you can see in there, with some washers. I think I'm gonna modify it to do something else because I don't want to take a chance of wrecking that cast aluminum grill. Um, there's two wires and they connect up here to two longer wires that so it can reach up to the battery. Um, so basically they come up through the grill up here they tie wrap to that to make it a little bit neater. Over here is where it gets messy. Um, now the red wire connects up to uh, the red and black wire, both right here, go to the switch, and uh, then one it splits off, and then the one connects to this white wire, which goes down, and this right here comes back up, and then the white wire connects here the other red wire connects here and it's both on the negative side of the battery and once it's connected to the toggle switch like this uh... it goes up and down lifting your plow up and down or whatever you're lifting um... if you're wondering about this this is just a uh, cigarette lighter or outlet and i just have that on there for my caution light if you've seen it in the other videos um, and I guess this thing's capable this linear actuator is capable of lifting around 500 pounds but I'm not going to push that not going to put it to the test either um, I think one of you or a couple of you asked about the exhaust or commented on it all it is is some plumbing pipe that comes out of the motor and curves I usually just have it curve up but I didn't have the right pipe for that so it just goes out and then curves up and this is your basic bigger tractor muffler and the flapper some people call it a rain stack like me um, you can buy it cheapest sometimes 20 bucks at tractor supply other than that they're usually 30 40 bucks depending on which one you buy um, so other than that it's a really good tractor um, it's never failed me um, so I hope this video helped you or whoever wanted to know to whether they wanted to put one on theirs or just wanted the knowledge. So there's my video of my Sears Super 12 closer look. There's a place off ocean.